Hi guys, this is Marius with the ERA. In today's video, we're going to show you how to upgrade the RAM in your computer and how to upgrade the hard drive in your computer. In this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive in this HP EliteBook 840G3. This is a very common office laptop, 6th generation Intel i5 processor. Let's just connect it to power, turn it on, and then press F10 to go into the BIOS. Okay, this so this beep tells us that there is no RAM installed. So we're just gonna turn it off. So we're gonna have to remove all these screws. One thing about these laptops is that they have a lot of screws. It'll take a little while to just remove all these screws. Other than that, it'll be an easy process. And we're just gonna pop this open. It looks like there is no internal battery and this piece of foam was placed instead of the battery here to hold this hard drive into place. So you'll need to disconnect and remove your battery to slide your hard drive out. So there is no RAM installed. We're gonna have to install some RAM in it to have it tested. So we're gonna insert the RAM chip just like that. Gently press down until it clicks. Reattach the power cable. We're just gonna make sure it works with the RAM that we put in there before we do anything else. So F10 to go into the BIOS. There's no beep now, so that means the RAM was registered successfully. And then we get this prompt that the amount of memory has changed. It's different from the one that was in there last time when this machine was powered on. We're just gonna acknowledge that and this will bring us to the BIOS settings. There's 16 GB of RAM. The HP computers don't show any information about the storage, but that should be easy to find out. We're gonna reboot and then press F9 to go into the booting menu and it looks like there is no bootable device. It looks like it doesn't see the drive that's in there. And we're gonna try to fix that. So let's see if enabling the legacy for old hardware will solve this problem. Go back into the BIOS and under the advanced tab, check secure boot configuration for legacy support. Legacy support enable and secure boot disable. We're gonna save the changes and then reboot. And now we're gonna get another prompt that will ask us to punch in a four digit code to acknowledge the request we just made about the legacy support. Let's try now and uh, yeah, we can see the hard drive in there under legacy. So after enabling legacy, we can see that the computer actually does recognize this hard drive. So now what we're going to do is replace this hard drive with an SSD drive. There used to be a caddy here, we don't have it. The hard drive was held by this piece of foam. So we're going to take out this hard drive and we're going to replace it with this 250 GB solid state drive. It's the same size, it connects the same way. And since we don't have the internal battery, we're just gonna have to uh, put this piece of foam back. So this will still be a usable laptop when connected with a power adapter. And this piece of foam will secure this SSD into place. So it'll work just fine. So we're gonna reattach the back cover. We're gonna reconnect it to power. And before we screw everything together, we're just gonna go into the booting menu. So there it is, Intel SSD, that shows us that the computer has recognized this new storage device. So it should be ready to go. And we're gonna screw it shut, and that's that for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more videos coming soon.